And you can't see my shirt, guys. Ooh. Yep. Yo, David. Yep. Hey guys, it's Sarah and today is Bookless Thursday. This is a video series I do with my friend Lindsay over at Lindsay's Little Library and every Thursday we bring you some sort of list or a book topic that we feel like talking about for the week and this week we are going to be talking about books that we wish we could read again for the first time. I feel like we all have those types of books where you read it and then it's such a special experience that you wish you could have it again. <laughs> or you read a book and then years later you think, oh gosh, I wish I could read that all over again and read it for the first time and have it be fresh and brand new and give me those feelings again. So I definitely have those books. And the first ones, obviously, you guys know, it's gonna be Harry Potter. I have read through the series two times, only twice. And I do want to read them again. I will read them again. I'll read them multiple times over my life. I know I will. But they're my absolute favorites and they are magical and they give me just such warm feelings when I read it. And I love the characters. I love what happens. And I just, I love those books so much. So definitely wish that I could reread them again for the first time. And whenever I see somebody reading them for the first time or hear about someone reading them for the first time, I get so jealous <laughs> because I wish I could do it as well. But yeah. Another one for me is going to be The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I do want to reread this book at some point in my life and I will, but I wish I could reread it for the first time again because I remember just being, I just, my face I think was just slack the whole time. I was like, oh my gosh, this book is so amazing. The entire time I was reading that big old chunky book and it was just that's another example of books that gave me some feelings that I didn't appreciate, <laughs> definitely. And I just, I was so engrossed the entire time and just following these two sisters in wartime situation and how they handled it differently is just, it was so beautiful. It was such a beautiful book, even though it was a sad book. It's not a happy book. It's a World War II historical fiction. It's not happy, but it just... It stole my heart. It really did. It was fantastic. We're going to go back to some middle grade. and I'm going to say Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. I have read the first two books, so I'm still reading the series. So when they're coming out, I am reading the next book for the first time. But I do wish I could go back and read the first one for the first time again, because when I was reading that book, it was giving me the same feelings as I was having when I read Harry Potter. So that was kind of like a very close second to rereading Harry Potter for me. It gave me those types of feelings, just that nostalgia and that whimsy and the magical elements and, you know, just discovering everything was, uh, I loved it. So I do wish I could go back and read the first one for the first time again, but yeah. The next one is The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. Now, this is a book that I need to reread because when I first read it, okay, there's a whole story behind The Book Thief. When I first tried to read it, I DNF'd it. I think I got 30 or 40% into it and I was just like, this isn't the book for me. I don't think I like this, even though everyone was screaming about this book and how much they loved it. And I just, I don't know, it didn't work for me then. And then a few years later, I tried again. And I read the whole thing and I gave it four stars, but I still remember not being completely blown away the way that everyone else was. I feel like that was a book I should have given five stars probably, but I gave it four stars and I even feel like maybe that was generous. And it's something that I need to reread because I just don't know if I was in the right mind frame for it, even the second time around, although I did read the whole thing and enjoyed it. But it wasn't up to the level that everyone else was saying it was. So that's one that I need to reread again and see if my feelings have changed, possibly, or if I just have an unpopular opinion about that book. I don't know. Um, so I will do that at some point, but it won't be reading it for the first time again, definitely. So that is another, that's another one that I wish I could reread completely fresh, not knowing anything about it. And the last one I'm going to say is The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. This is another one that I do plan to reread. I want to reread that book and then finish the trilogy. Uh, but I wish it was for the first time again, because, oh man, that book was just... <sighs> so creative, so creative. And it's an epic high fantasy, but it didn't feel like it. It felt like just so approachable and so easily understandable. The magic system is so creative and I understood it. It didn't go over my head, <laughs> which is what I was afraid of with Brandon Sanderson. 
but it was fantastic. I absolutely, absolutely love that book. And I'm excited to reread it and then finish the trilogy at some point. I just kind of wish it was for the first time again to experience all the just kind of eye popping <laughs> action I was getting in that book. It would be cool to experience that again for the first time. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for me today. So please let me know down below what some of your answers are. What are some books that you wish you could read for the first time again to experience that reading experience for a second time? Let me know what your answers are down below. And make sure you go check out Lindsay today and see what she's saying. I'm really interested to hear what her answers are going to be. And we will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.